Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 12 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating a view to insert data. Please watch part 11 before proceeding with this video. We want to create a view which allows the user to enter name, gender, city, date of birth. And then once the user clicks on this create button, we want to store the employee details to a database table. In part 11, if you remember, we have implemented an index view which actually list, lists all the employees that are present in TBL employee table. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Let me actually run this project and navigate to employee controller and index action method. Look at this. This page is listing all the employees that are present in TBL employee table. Now, when I click on this create new link, we are actually navigating to employee controller create action method. Now, within the employee controller class, do we have the create action method? No. And that's the reason why we have this error message, the resource cannot be found, HTTP status code 404. So obviously, to fix this error, the first thing to do is to implement this create action method within the employee controller class. OK, so let's go ahead and create that action method. So I'm going to simply copy the action method that we already have there. And I'm going to change the name to create. And then I'm going to get rid of this code. And then I'm simply going to return a view. OK, and then I'm going to decorate this controller action method with HTTP get attribute meaning this controller action method will only respond to a get request of this URL. So if, if somebody navigates to this URL, localhost, MVC demo, employee controller, and create action, okay, if it is the get request, meaning it, if, if it is the initial you know, get request of this view, I mean URL, only then you know, this controller action method will respond. OK, so that's why I have decorated this with HTTP GET. Now, after I enter the data, you know, name, gender, city, date of birth, and then once I click this Create button, what are we actually doing? We are posting the data back to the server. At that point of time, you know, this controller action method will not respond. We'll have another version of Create, which will be decorated with HTTP POST attribute, which is going to receive the posted form data, and then we'll submit that back to the database server, you know, to be stored in the database table. We'll talk about that in our next video session. First this video let's say you know creating this view for the end user to enter employee data okay so this is the controller action method which is going to respond only to the get request of this URL okay so now the next step is to create a view and to create a view it's very straightforward all you need to do is right click on the controller action method from the context menu select add view so our view name is going to be create I'm going to use a ra the razor view engine. We're going to create a strongly typed view. And then I'm going to select the employee class as our model class. And then the scaffold template, I'm going to select create as the scaffold template. And then I'm going to click this add button, which should add create view you know, to the employees folder within views folder. So I have this create.cshtml view. The first thing that we need to do, if you scroll all the way down, you know, I have this uh, section scripts that is generated. At the moment, I'm going to get rid of this code. We'll talk about the sections and scripts in a later video session. And to format this properly, I'm going to use a div tag. And then I'm going to specify a style, you know, and then set font family to area. And then let's take this div tag and put it at the bottom of this view. OK, so that's the only change. Now let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. So let's navigate to employee controller and index action method. And then once we click on this create new, we are navigated to this URL employee controller create action method and look at the form. You know, we have uh, all text boxes for name, gender, city, date of birth, etc. But gender, in an ideal world, it's better to have a drop-down list instead of a text box. 
okay so let's see how to you know uh, get a drop down list instead of a de text box and that's very straightforward okay all we need to do is within this view create dot html we will have you know look at this for gender okay so we are using this html helper editor for you know model dot gender so for for gender which is a string you know we are using this HTML helper editor for which is rendering this text box by default okay but instead of that we want a drop down list and to do that all you need to do is instead of using the editor for HTML helper I'm going to use you know an HTML helper drop down list and then obviously this helper method has got several parameters so first we need to specify the name the name of the property of the employee object which is that gender and then look at this this HTML helper method has got several overloads I'm going to use you know this overload look at this this is the first parameter is the name of the property of the employee object which is gender and the second property is you know what options do you want within that drop-down list and it is look at this it's actually an I enumerable of select list item objects okay so which means I can pass a new list object and then it's going to be select list item object so let's specify you know it's a new list of select list item so I'm going to create a new select list item object and obviously the constructor of this class has got um, two properties text so what is the text that we want within the drop-down list male and the value is also going to be male so a drop-down list will have both text and value you know in our case both of them are going to be uh, you know text and value as male similarly let's have another you know select list item which will be female and text and I mean value is also female okay so that's it now let me go ahead and run this and see if we get a drop-down list so let's navigate to employee index and let's go to that create form look at that I get a drop-down list now look at this by default mail is selected here but let's say I want you know um, another string which says select gender how do I get that so there is if you look at this drop down list HTML helper it has got several overloads I'm going to use another overloaded version you know look at that I'm going to use this version which also takes an optional um, option label okay so what that's going to be select gender and that's of type string so I'm uh, and closing that within double quotes okay and if you want to properly format this select uh, the entire HTML and press control K and D that should format that properly so if you look at this now look at this this code is properly formatted now let me go ahead and run this and navigate to employee controller index action click on this create new look at that we get the drop-down list with that option as well select gender alright so now obviously look at this we have this um, URL employee create now when I enter this URL and press enter there you know that's the get request for the web form so obviously this controller action method will respond you know within create employee controller you know this action method will respond to that URL request on the other hand look at this if I don't enter I mean if I click this button create what's gonna happen this web form will be posted back to the server okay now look at this I get this error message the resource cannot be found but I have a create action method within the employee controller why did I still get this if you look at this I have the create um, action method within the employee controller but I still got this error message that is because when I click this button you know create we're actually posting the form data so that's an HTTP post request and here we since we have decorated this action method with HTTP get you know this controller action method will only respond to the get request of that URL 
but when I post the web form back, you know, when I click this button, I'm submitting the form, in which case, you know, it looks for a create action method with HTTP post attribute. We don't have that. And this action method is decorated with the HTTP get attribute, meaning this will only be used for, you know, get request of that URL. Okay. In our next video, we'll discuss, uh, you know, actually posting the data back, you know, entering data. And then once I click on this create button, we will actually uh, discuss storing this data to a database table. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.